If you want to be a player like Nico or Donk, there's actually a very easy way to do that as long as you have discipline, and that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video. I'm going to teach you what you need to work on in practice, but you're only going to be able to become a star player if you actually have discipline because you're going to have to train a lot and play a lot. So if you don't think you can do that, you should just go ahead and click off the video. But if you are someone that wants to grind and work hard to be an actual somebody in Counter-Strike, then continue watching. Now, before I get into the video, I do want to emphasize that you can also become a star player in your role let's think of someone like jks or naf these guys are dominant lurkers and they're not some fancy star player that makes flashy plays they're just very very good at their role so if you are someone that doesn't think they have the ability to become a star player it's best to just go and master your role and really study up on your role because every team needs role based players like maybe you're an igl but you can't frag but you can read the game very well that's a great example of g2 with hooksy and now they have snacks not a very heavy firepower igl but he can definitely call and read the game just as good as anyone else playing the game. And then we have, you know, people like Liquid, where you have someone like Naf or JKS, who's just so good at lurking. They're just very annoying on the map. And it's very, very important that you guys do understand that you don't need to be this flashy player to be some insane star, but just focus and develop your role. But since I just talked about that, let's get into the first step, which is you need to get insane aim. If you don't already have a training routine, you're definitely already behind everyone else. If, if you want to make plays like Stewie does, or someone like Nico, or maybe even Munasi, if you're an Opera, you need to definitely aim train and just build up that raw aim. You don't have to sit in aim bots for five hours a day, but you definitely do need a good routine that works on those micro flicks and everything else that involves an aim. And I've made other YouTube videos on that as well. So make sure you guys go and check those out. But if your aim is just off, you won't be that star player. You need to be able to be flashy and make these crazy situations winnable with just your raw aim and skill and just totally forget about the game and just focus on your crosshair. But one other thing you need if you want to become a star player is skins. And if you don't have good skins in your inventory you should check out the sponsor of this video skins monkey skins monkey is a cs2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins my favorite thing about skins monkey is that i can trade skins that i no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value if you use code louis cs2 you get a five dollar bonus on your first trade if you want to buy skins you can get a 30 percent deposit bonus plus an extra five percent using my code the link is down in the description now, once you have an aiming routine, or maybe you have one that you're doing right now, it's very important to know the meta of what is happening in Counter-Strike. Being able to counter metas and understand what is happening on the map can definitely help you out with just your mind game and make those insane plays or find those crazy gaps. The hardest teams that I've ever played against are teams that obviously have a great star player, but he can just identify what's going on and he's always ready for it. If you're always ready for, you know, let's say on Anubis, if they're smoking T stairs, you think they're going to do a canals? push imagine if you just automatically knew like hey i know exactly what they're doing i know the exact timing i'm gonna ask for a flash swing out and kill two people from ebox just make sure you're you know you trade me from a main it's as simple as as just knowing what is going on in the map which can definitely help you now you can obviously study up on this through watching demos or even watching some pro players stream which happens all the time since we have a amazing platform like twitch and you guys should also go check out my stream on twitch but it's very important that you guys go and study up on these little micro things in the round you can learn so much from just watching a pro and how he is reading the game when you do watch these you know maybe you're just watching a stream try to think about what the player is thinking okay if they just threw this smoke now what is he doing you know they they flash cleared this what is his reaction what is his communication like these are things that you have to keep in mind that not a lot of players understand so it's very important that you do understand that and then you can make the calls in your game even if you're struggling to win games and maybe you do have that firepower but you're just looking for that one thing that's missing in your game definitely understand understanding the metas and be being able to mid round call and just adjust based off of communication you hear or you know information that that you see or you get from your teammates is very very important so if you aren't studying up on the meta or just common strats like common pistol strats common buy round strats or you know maybe how someone takes connector on mirage this is definitely something to study up on because then you can easily learn counters for yourself and figure out how you want to play around these and then you're just pretty much ready for everything nothing's going to catch you off guard and you're just going to turn into that star player that can just get your team out of those sticky situations that wouldn't be possible unless you just obviously knew what was going on and unless you had some pretty insane aim now the most important thing is if you want to be a star player and not just someone that is good in their role you definitely need to be playing the impact spots like connector on mirage ebox on anubis those sort of spots that really just pretty much you have to hold down for the whole round and know exactly what to do it's very important that you learn these positions and start playing them now so you can adjust your play style down the road i was someone who always liked playing the 
star spots and I just learned how to play them. And now those are just what I play on my teams. So it's very important that you do study up on those. And like I talked about earlier by watching demos, you, you need to watch demos and find out how these players are playing them. Look at their little gimmick strats that they have, or maybe look at if they have protocols for if they throw a certain smoke or throw a certain flash, like a nice little good setup that can help you and your team win the round. Because at the end of the day, it's not all about you being the star player. You also want to put your teammates in a good spot so they can also perform. But that's just something to keep in mind. So make sure you guys do get a notebook and start writing down, you know, each page is for a certain map. You know, you have Mirage, Anubis, Snook. Make sure you're writing down what these guys are doing with certain protocols let's say your outside player on nuke you obviously need to know what to do when they're throwing sea smokes or the old wall smokes are they nading them are they flashing through are they mollying red you need to write this down and try to mimic exactly what they are doing and then get good at those little plays so then when you do go play on a team these things aren't going to catch you off guard and then your team's going to realize that you have amazing initiative and you're going to become a leader on the team as well and not just a star player i think that's one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is that star players are pretty much the leaders of the team because they really have that initiative and drive and leadership to grind a lot. They know exactly what to do on the map. They always have these little gimmicky plays that just wins their team rounds and you pretty much just become this amazing leader on the team as well. As long as you don't have too much of an ego or you don't tilt, your teammates will look up to you and it's just going to be an amazing ride on that team if you do decide to join one. But to end, I just want to talk about that being a star player does involve a lot of discipline. You're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices to make sure you're training and playing the game because you just can't hop on the game and expect to just be this amazing player. Someone like Munasi and Donk, they literally just play Counter-Strike 24-7. I'm sure they do go outside for a little bit to try to create that balance, but that is one thing that you guys do need to know is that they do have a little bit of balance, but Counter-Strike is their main goal and their main focus, and that's what they do a lot. First thing they wake up, I know Munasi gets on his PC, gets on Counter-Strike. I know Shiro does it as well. He talked about it in an interview a while ago, and he also talked about his mindset where he wasn't waking up early or getting on aimbot when he woke up to train and he noticed his performance was going down and once he started doing that again and found that discipline he started to notice his performance to increase again so it's very important that you guys have discipline and find drive because you're not always going to have motivation so you need to be able to have drive so you can wake up and play or maybe you get off work and your dreams to be a professional counter-strike player and you have those five hours you have to give it your all those five hours so you can keep grinding and playing which is very very important and i can't stress that enough you also have to keep in mind the balance as well because burnout is real on some individuals and burnout can become a problem if you are trying to grind up to become a professional but if you do have a lot of drive and a lot of discipline you won't let that get in your way and you will keep grinding so it's very important that you do find discipline but I think it's also important that you guys do write down your goals maybe you want to have an aim training routine every day you know make sure you write that down and make sure you do it it's just like going to the gym counter-strike is just a sport that is on a computer that you need to train for you need to study for you need to do all of these things so you can become a good player and I'm sure if you are watching this video I do believe in you and I do think that you can become this star player that you want to be but it is going to take a lot of training a lot of learning and you need to be able to ask questions as well I see a lot of people with egos that don't ask a lot of questions so if you are actually able to ask questions you will learn a lot more so make sure you're you know talk to someone either your teammate or someone that you know that maybe plays in a higher division or is a higher rank and ask them about rounds that you have no idea what to do or what is going on it's as simple as that to learn as long as you're asking questions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but if you think I forgot anything about becoming a star player, make sure you guys comment that down below. I read all your guys' comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.